I uh, just want to thank you for still talking to me. A humbled Dr. Dina Hinshaw addressed primary care physicians last night. Alberta's chief medical officer revealed this is her biggest moment of regret being part of a decision to lift all COVID restrictions in the province. Henshaw says that mistake set the province's relentless fourth wave in motion. I think that trajectory was set when we removed all the public health restrictions at the beginning of uh, July. Henshaw says she feels responsible for later giving the impression the pandemic was over. That has had repercussions and, and I, I deeply regret um, how that has played out. The highest COVID ICU numbers ever in Alberta. Staffing shortages, surgery cancellations for everything from cancer to joint replacements. It's been 11 days since Premier Jason Kenney's last COVID briefing. But life and death decisions continue. Difficult choices based on the statistics of survivability. When it gets like this, we can't take the long shot because we got to put our resources into people that we know are going to do the best. That Dr. Marklin is even at work is a feat of resilience. Last Friday night, the police showed up at his house, warning him of a death threat against him. It's serious enough that the RCMP are involved, um, uh, but they will not disclose specifics. It's effectively like watch your back um, and don't get hit by lightning. Combine that with protests outside the workplace and what he calls a leadership vacuum. I honestly feel terrorized. And yet he and so many others like him just keep showing up. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.